Well, last night was country music's biggest night. It was the CMA Awards, or as one of my producers put it in our morning meeting, it's country music's Oscars. So here to break down the evening is the QC country music expert, Danny Lynn Howe from WLLR's Luke and Howe Morning Show. Thanks for being back here today. Oh my gosh, it's my pleasure. Thank you for having <laughs> me again. It was an amazing show. It really was, and it started out with an incredible performance right off the bat from Jelly Roll, who also walked away with a big win. Talk about that. I know, new artist of the year. I was surprised but not surprised you know because he's so good every time he was out there it felt like going to church mm -hmm. it was just amazing so i think he's in three short years become what i would say is like what country music is going to be yeah and i really feel like i need a face tattoo now yeah right right <laughs> You, you and Pat should get matching ones. How about oh that? Oh my goodness sakes. Well, okay. I don't know if I can talk him into that. But <laughs> Well, another person who won big is someone that's got an album coming out yeah. in about a week from tomorrow. I mean, Chris Stapleton, talk about that. I loved his performance, and not only did I love his performance, I loved his wife's shoes. Yes. Did you see her shoes? Yes. They were amazing. Hugest platforms I've ever seen. And her dress. And her dress was amazing. was amazing. Everybody looked so great. But that was a good, that is quickly becoming my most favorite song from Chris Stapleton, oh, which yes. is White Horse. Well, one of his songs on his album that's coming out is South Dakota, which is where I'm from. So oh my god! I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing, I'm so excited. That is exciting. Someone else who won big last night, not even a country music artist, Tracy Chapman. I was excited for her. I, I was just excited the whole night. Every time someone was announced <laughs> winner, I'm like, yes! <laughs> but yeah, and the fact that she wasn't there was sad, but that she sent something along mm -hmm. and just thanked everybody because, wow, just the fact that this was Luke Combs' first big, like, love. Mm. That was the song he remembers most from, you know, his first love song. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. And he was covering Fast Car on yeah. his tour long before he ever yeah. recorded it, and mm -hmm. I'm so glad he did. Yeah, I think fans were kind of saying, hey, we, we need you to do this because yeah. it's so good. It's so good, and mm -hmm. speaking of good, uh. we have to talk about <laughs> the biggest winner last night. I mean, Lainey oh, Wilson. Would that be Lainey? Yeah. Oh my god. And the bell bottoms? I mean, oh, my so goodness. So good. I couldn't, I, there was a part of me that was kind of shocked mm. that she got Entertainer of the Year. And yet there's another side of me that says, she so deserved it. Yes. And she was so surprised. Yeah. So genuine on that. So I, I know she's gonna be doing more and more and more and this latest tour that she's going out on yes. is stacked. She's coming to Peoria soon with, mm. is it Hardy? Yeah, and yeah. I mean, that makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be a good show. Mm -hmm. I need to get a yeah. little bit of a raise if I can get those <laughs> It. You need more friends. I know, yeah, I, I need like more friends, yeah. for sure. <laughs> Danny, thanks so much for being back here today with us. Uh, my pleasure, Shelby. Thank you for having me. We'll see you next year for <laughs> the next few days.